I'm Jazz. And I'm Britt. And we're at CWAO. Let's talk about... Scandal. All right. This is episode four. We're mm-hmm. going to make this quick, guys, because um we got a lot to make up and Empire's about to come on. But um I thought this episode... I, I don't know. It, it wasn't really great for me. I, I wasn't like, oh my God, this is a it great episode. Right, it, it was all right, It was all right. right. Um, the thing that is, you know, that stood out to me the most, uh, is the whole race play thing yeah. they was doing, the yeah, whole... Yeah, because it's dog whistle politics. And all of that about them speaking on the race, the stereotypical things that the media says. And yeah. this is, and you know, Shonda does that. Yeah, she the, pulls um, from, the chick, or the 2020 chick or whatever, she, yeah, was, she was going in. She, she was, was going like, in. she scraped and hustled her way through school. Like, what? Yeah, it's like, what? <laughs> but that's what, um, you know, that's, you know, Shonda does that pulls from what happens in reality a lot sometimes she yeah sometimes she does a good job sometimes she doesn't um i don't i think that the subject was fine i don't think that any the way it was written was i don't think i don't have a problem with the way it was written i have a problem with the way it was portrayed i guess the direction that it took yeah i didn't really dig how the uh the black guy yeah. at OPA, of course, is the one. Nah, because they're doing this and they're doing that. And I mean, like, it just was so. It was he cliche. He didn't even know her as well as Huck. For him to be so upset Quinn. about it, I would have. I would have got it if Quinn was going off about yeah. it, or, or even Huck. if Huck all of a sudden was running Huck's his yacht. Already too, so you know. It <laughs> You know, but if Quinn was saying, you know, they're doing this and they keep mentioning the fact that she's black. I mean, because there are white people who see this and don't like it. You know, yeah. when they see, you know. I mean, a lot of white people, they just don't see it. They no, but I mean, when they it. do catch it, though. There's yeah. some white people who do catch it. And they're like, really? You know yeah. what I mean? So it would I, I would have rather that and then just him chiming in would have been good. Yeah. Him saying like, well, but you know. But when this- he said... When they was like, um, so you're not just here for the money. He was like, I'm here to help a sister out who helped me in my time of need. Yeah. It was like, bruh, where are you from? Because it sounds like you've never said the word sister in your life. Yeah, I don't talk like help that. Help a sister so I would have sounded, I would sound weird saying it myself. I mean, but. Not- Maybe if you would have said help my sister out, it would have yeah. flowed better. Because just- nobody says help a sister out anymore. Well, if you if you were born in this, if you grew you, up in if, the 70s. Yes, yeah, in your 50s to, to, to hundreds or whatever. But nobody says help a sister out. My mother does not say help a sister out. Mommy don't say that? No. I just thought it was corny, honestly. The part that I did like from him was when he was walking down the street and the reporters was like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he turned around and he started to read them. I thought that was dope. And I thought that was good. It made yeah. sense the way yeah. he did it. Because he was like, you know what? It would have made sense if they... I would have liked it better if through the episode you saw that he just was like, yeah, it's that bullshit. But he wasn't saying much and about that. And yeah. then he said something about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then and when he said to them, he was like, that's how I gladiate. When he told Quinn yeah, and them. Yeah, that was, that was cute. I thought, his, I, thought he, I thought his line was a good line. I want to give, I want to give him props for that. I liked it. Yeah. Um... Uh, I'm sorry, real quick. What mommy would say is, um, help out your own. Help one of us. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You don't want to help me, and I'm what we are the same. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, that's what, yeah, you're right. Us. But, um. That's what she I, would I just, say. And them going on the shows and stuff and doing all of that. Eh. I, I mean, it wasn't horrible. I mean, it was just like, eh. And Hunk you know, was ridiculous because he so wasn't was saying politics. that's all he was saying literally. <laughs> they should, why would they? That's the that's why I'm Hunk like should eh, never be on TV. It doesn't make sense that they would even send Huck to say something. They know Huck ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, Huck should have typed them his response. It was ridiculous. Um, did y'all see how Quinn was looking at homie though? Who do you think he's they gonna um place homie with? Like the way Quinn well, was looking at him was like she was like. like but she I was mean, giving him a little pretty eyes. Like, yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised if Olivia started getting. It's, I mean, listen, yeah, Olivia. But she, she's so sick of Huck, I guess, and the emotional thing that they got going on. So she's just gonna jump on anybody that comes new. <laughs> He's stupid. She, yeah. But um, I I I thought that and, that. I mean, Chuck. What's his name? Charlie is you know. Yeah, whatever. I think mean, Quinn and Charlie was funny though. But I just feel I felt like you know what they were doing. It was like okay, I guess they're trying to help Olivia out, and I was like, but you know, Jake would have told them Olivia don't need you to do shit. Yeah, she ain't asking you to do nothing. Sit down. But Jake, Jake was, was busy dealing with the be the Lazarus. Exactly, family. and you see how Papa oh, yeah. Pope had to let him know, like I am always I free. Let you know. <laughs> okay, he was like, I am always free. He was like in real power, like it doesn't have to be he seen. Said, Give like, us, us free. Who we? What? Me? Me? I'm he was like, bruh, I'm good. <laughs> and he was, you know, and he was telling me, he said, my stupid daughter basically didn't think things through. You won't put me in here, and now look what's going on. Now yeah. you in here begging me for some information. 
Yeah. Boy, bye. You know, and it was so ridiculous. But it's I said in the other episode, it's so funny how he was like, I failed you. I thought that. Yeah. I'm like, yo. Because he was like, really? You don't get it? Yeah. Dang, like, he's Jake. disappointed. And he and was Jake's like, like, you know what? You're going to break the way I'm going to kill. You always leave a trail. But he did not technically leave a trail. He didn't leave a trail that connected him to B613. No, he's talking about, yeah, he left a trail, trail in regards was to the, the Smithsonian. The Smithsonian stuff. But, that's a but they also for- had to manipulate some things, so it's like, whatever. But it's it's just, the, the whole thing is just and ridiculous. And they ratted on him. Basically, they snitches. They snitches. Let's be real. I mean, it was corny how they Mark got him had anyway. had to go and um, hack into something for all of that information. Come on. But when um the, the wife, when uh Jake and the wife came, you know, into to face-to-face and all that, yeah. and she's up here, you, I, I, you didn't wait for me and all this other crap or whatever the case may be, and then she got shot in the arm. I don't know. Who felt that Jake didn't tie that joint tight enough? Because I was like, I felt like he I just mean, wrapped that around spy. her arm. She's all right. She's probably, she's been shot, you know, plenty of times. I found yeah. that very interesting. I was like, mm, whatever. But um, the situation with um, Melly going to the Senate, um, to them saying like, yo, I'm down to impeach. It's really crazy because, you know, some would be like, ah, oh, Melly's filed for that. But the thing right. is, she went to Fitz. She was actually going to protect Fitz. She yeah. was not going to be down with it. And they spoke and she said, and you don't hurt me. And he held her hand with both hands. She said, you don't hurt me. I won't hurt you. She ain't trying to throw this man and under Fitz the bus. Forgot. He forgot. That quick, he forgot. And How went you have down a the street. With ADD? For real, went down the street and took his side out. Talking about taking my girlfriend out. My dude, you don't have a girlfriend you're while still you're still married. married. What are you talking about? That joint had me like, right. and, and I just need people who are not Americans to understand. You not well, not um, you know, citizen of the, citizens of the United States of America. I need y'all to understand that that shit would never ever. Happen. Ever <laughs> happen. Not on this here land. No. No, it won't. No. And if a fool tried, bruh, so my letter so me, try me. <laughs> try me. For real. Do you understand? There'll be so many underground the uprising that would take place. Low key, uh, you know, groups and, that would bruh, rise up. That joint wouldn't even be low key. Set the White they House will and blaze. Come for him. The they will come. Like, you, oh, you must be tripping. Oh, wait, I'm about to say something real messed up. It's, it's a joke, though. But they would set the White House ablaze, and then they'd watch it off because they don't want us to be black, you know, from the soot. <laughs> I swear to God, if Kanye West wins, if Kanye West actually does run, for, if he really does run and win, you know he's going to paint that sucker black. You know his grandfather well, was a black man. I don't think you'll be able to, though. I feel like that's probably... I don't, hey, I don't you know. can, you could change your law, but his his grandfather was a black panther. Yeah, so but, yeah, he got it in him to be that because foolish. that's a historical. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be kind of like defacing. I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know. It's black kid. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, Fitz, Fitz, that could never happen here. It, bruh, it's not an option. Of course, they, you know, especially in politics, we all, they, they, we know that they cheat and they have. You know, other women and stuff like that. But like that dude in the Senate said to him, you got caught. We all have. And that's why you're giving it up smooth. He was like, that's why you on your knees in front of me and I'm not in my knees in front of you. Picking it up slow. I was like, damn, Fitz is giving head right now. No contact. (laughs) He's a magician. (laughs) (laughs) Ain't no skin to skin contact. He's giving head. Like, it was crazy. But when that dude was like, next time get somebody who's more palatable for the, uh, the base, I was like, dang. And it was like, but Fitz hold on that. though, but no, nah, Shonda hit that. She, she snapped because it's like, dang, the Republican base too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you know the Republicans, how they, you know. But I was like, dang, man, that's crazy. But, um, you know, it it, it, it was just, uh, and it, it, did you notice though when, that, when the men was meeting with Fitz? Lizzie being like, she, she just looking so weak. I just didn't even know why she's there. It's ridiculous. If you're gonna be sitting her outfit here, is gorgeous, all though. Gorgeous. Usually, and her curl, you know. her hair is nice, Beautiful. you know? You know, but it's just, she makes no sense to me. It was just like, what are you here for? You know, Cyrus and, um... Maybe if she was a little girthier, she would, it would be better on the eyes. Because she just looks like a little frail little woman here, sitting here. No, but it's, I think because what they're showing is her lack. Yeah. And the difference between her like, and Cyrus. Why don't you go into fashion? Because Cyrus wouldn't have let them she talk to her. She needs to go into fashion. And she's she tall runway. and thin. Mm-hmm. Her clothes hey, are what awesome. are you doing here? They, they hang on her beautifully. Um, but the, 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 uh, the scene with my... Uh, 
I'm about to say Miley Cyrus. Lord Jesus. Melly and Cyrus. <laughs> Miley Cyrus has no business. <laughs> the scene with Melly and Cyrus was awesome. Yeah. Like, that scene was really awesome. And it was so crazy because you... Both of them were were right in their own, you know, from their own point positions, view, yeah. from their point of views, from their perspectives. She was like, it's not the same thing. Like, and I don't understand why you still, tri- why you're yeah, out for revenge. Said, why you- and it was so interesting to hear her say that because she's still, again, defending Fitz. Yeah. She's defending she him. I'm not going to impeach my husband. And she was like, you know, why you, whatever, this is my husband, this is not the same thing, you know, blah, blah. She said, you were just his, his co-worker, his colleague, and that his friend. That dude was like. He said, friend? He had Me the, and him are one. All right? That's my son. Yeah. Okay. He she, was like, you know how Yu-Gi-Oh, he is regular Yu-Gi-Oh and Shadow Yu-Gi-Oh? That's me and Fitz. He was like, you know how in Steven Universe, the gyms, when they fuse and they one person, but they can separate? God. That's me and Fitz. Word. He was like, like it's whatever's whatever. He said, you know how all the, the Pokemon are separate, but they all come from that same one ball? ball? That's me and Fitz. Yo. Crazy. It's I wish crazy. I could say that about me and you. But we didn't come from the same boat. We came from the same uterus. So. Get the hell out of my face. <laughs> like, I am your shadow. We are there, you no, know. I said we all came from the same boat. <laughs> no, we didn't. No. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, sorry. But, I mean, it's just like, I, I felt when he said that, and I tweeted that before. I said, yo, Cyrus sees Fitz as a son. You know, yeah. I tweeted that before, and I was like, so when he said it, I was like, mm, and it just... It hit. It hit. Home. It hit. I it was, was like, so, it was so genuine, and it was it genuine. Came off of him fluid. And, and, was... and when you know when you really feel in some type of way, because he he was lashing out at Melly, and he really didn't Me? intend to. Yeah. That's not. It, you could tell it wasn't like he was on some like you ain't shit. But like he just was like, this is what I'm going this through. Because Fitz is acting like he yeah. doesn't know. And he also was like, is. he said for him, he said for you, I'm done for all of y'all. Like he's like, y'all he just says the past fourteen years. Is yeah, like, like, they and they basically just took him for granted. But you know that's how it goes. But Melly's face was. And she was like, Get when he out. was like, your he son is like, dead. He was like, your son is dead. I was like, uh, yeah, this he snapped. Though. Tripping. He snapped. He's tripping. He, he done lost his goddamn mind. And when she said, "Get out," and he was like, he, said, oh, bye. he flipped bye. his hair. He was like, uh, "Guess what? Guess what? Guess what?" He was like, "My keys are already dangling on my fingertips." Okay. Girl, he said, <laughs> "What push start the whip? What are you talking about? <laughs> Brought it back, back to life." life. Mm. That's what <laughs> Cyrus was hitting at. He said, keep your two cents, take your own advice. Okay, Melly. that was ridiculous. That joint was ridiculous. But, but it was, see, I thought it was the best thing. But you see how um, genuine it came off of him? Nothing was genu- genuine about, you know, I'm just here to help a sister out. Yeah, we oh, right. We were watching you, black man. We was like, ah, ah, mm, let me down. He used, to, he used to be on, um, I think it was All My Children. The episode that the the, the um, soap opera that yeah, he was on. Yeah, and you know what? And I'm pretty sure that you, they didn't have the show when he was 16. I'm pretty sure that his 16th birthday was no, like, no, 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 no. He was um an adult. Like this. No, was I know. But what I'm saying is, he wasn't. He was not a child when the show. You know, Sweet 16 came out. But I'm sure that's how how his birthday was. You're so stupid. Homeboy got a future for his 16th birthday, and that was 30 years ago. Oh my God! So basically, Britney said he uppity. I'm like they always, uppity. like they call I'm not us, he like we be called uppity. I'm not saying he uppity. I'm just saying he don't got no street cred. Right? <laughs> you know, he ain't. I don't know if he's. Yeah, people call connected. us uppity, but I got street cred. He, people you feel me? call me uppity, but I'm from the Bronx. Like, what are you talking about? Y'all do salary. Like, you already know. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> X all day. Like, the, the X is in the building to stay forever and forever more. What? Is you done now, though? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Harlem in the Bronx, though. But you know what I'm saying? But so, I mean, I think that was pretty much it for the episode, right? Listen, we got to turn this off because um, Empire is coming on. So this this, on this review is going to be short, like crazy. But I mean, I think that was pretty much it, right? Was there anything else? Like, Olivia just be pissing me off. I mean, I'm just kind of done with her. That whole thing when he was coming to the door and she's sitting there like, like, and then she starts smiling like she's happy. Like, are y'all serious? That girl really, she really needs Cooper a Cooper shrink. Cooper she needs a shrink because... She don't know how to feel. She doesn't know what yeah, she's feeling. And this feeling. is the episode when she was mad because they was talking about them on the, on the blog. Yeah, she, she said they about... got three different pornos of them. But what did you expect? Yes. Yes. Dang, I need to find... I need to... Well, you know what? I'm about to be working, you know, again soon. I'm probably going to find me a, a taller than me, you know, a, a white guy taller than me for Halloween. I, I want to be fixing Olivia. <laughs> and I'm going to be walking like... <laughs> 
Oh my god. <laughs> You're ridiculous. That's hilarious. That would be actually quite funny, though. Oh, yeah. would it be just funny if Philip just went in white face? No, it's gonna take a that. lot That's of paint. Racist. But it's gonna take a lot of paint for Philip. Can y'all come get her? <laughs> That's racist. No, nah, I know. That. I'm joking. I was trying to, you know. You're an asshole. Though. <laughs> I know, but I was just making a. That was a pun. But you on called duct me tape. an asshole. That was a setup. Shut up. For a punchline on duct tape. But you called me an no. You're an asshole. You're horrible. I was just trying to be funny because you know all the white people they do blackface every Halloween. Not all the white people, but I was you, you saying, know, what all see, the white people? I don't. You know, I know I was subscribing to a white. I'm not doing that. I don't that. mean. Well, obviously not. They watching us. Hey. <laughs> well, <laughs> that would be a conflict of interest. I feel like. <laughs> what? But what that's happened? it, y'all. I think that was all I had to say about that episode. What else happened? That was it. Anything I feel else? like that was it. I uh, oh well, Sally's VP was going in, you know, as usual. No, no she ain't no, going on this one. She ain't going on this one. This it was one, that um twenty twenty lady, the lady. Like, <laughs> she said she, she was, was just... scraping and hustling her way to the top. Yeah, it was what? like wow, Olivia. <laughs> she went to Oxford or something. They like took that. my. It's so good that she was able to, you know, get out of the ghetto on her bootstraps. Pull up her bootstraps, bruh. But that's how it is, though. Good Dang. old, good old America. Proud Mar- to be an American. Cause at least I know I'm free. Hey, that's my song though, y'all. Stand up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least I know I'm gonna have a smart. God bless the USA. Don't front on America, man. I mean, it's the United States of America because you don't want to say America because it's South America no, and North but America. But we're not yeah. talking. You have to. You have to specify specify South America when you're talking about South America. Because we the top ones, right? We we. <laughs> 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 y'all know, y'all know our dad, or you know, uh, America's, America's problems. you know, our problems. Yeah. We, we think we superior. I don't necessarily think that. I just know that, you know. It's um, all about us. Let me stop. I'm just having a shot. Don't do that. All right, y'all. I'm Jazz. You, well, you heard what you said. We liked the episode. It was pretty good. Um, I thought the best scene was when Cyrus went in on um, Melly. Um, but it was also, it was, it was a, it was, it was a good scene. Um, I, I like that. Um, that that scene i thought the best um lines that was delivered was from homie i forget his name the the dude who's working now with opa when oh, he started no, we didn't talk about the crazy behind senator who's about that skrilla the dude who told fitz he was he on gotta his do, yeah 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 we did talk about that yeah but he, he was just talking right he was talking reckless to live li- li- and he said he got all these bitches on it i said oh what but you know what can i say something though i like fitz and abby I know that Olitz fans are gonna be like, "The hell is she talking about?" But I thought I think it would be an awesome twist if there was some jealousies that started to arise because when Fitz and Abby are actually in, when they actually have conversation and they're like chill together, it's 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 a good scene and it just looks. I I just feel like there should be maybe some flirtations that take place. You know, is innocent because Abby innocent is, flirtations. Is because Abby is thin. That I feel that way. And, and with red hair, yeah. No, I just like them together. Because Jasmine does together. that when she be like, she's pretty. I think that's such and such. A- <laughs> I mean, well, I, 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 Jasmine is clicky. Before you know. children, I was very skinny. I was a size two. Oh, she's yes, so I was. Thin. Nice tiny waist, and I'm working on getting it. Hey guys, guess what? I deadlifted 185 pounds at the gym, just so y'all know. Doing my yeah, thing. Yeah, I deadlifted five pounds. Anyway, okay. I'm Jazz. And I'm NYCWAO. You should.